Good morning, you guys. Long time no vlog. And I'm surprisingly not kicking it off in the bathroom. Are y'all surprised? <laughs> it is actually Friday. And um, I thought it would be fun to kick off a new vlog. Just because it's Friday, I'm actually feeling really good. I don't really have a whole lot going on today, honestly. You guys know my weeks, Monday through Friday, are actually pretty boring. I do have just a couple other additional things going on that kind of makes my day a little bit more interesting. So I was like, you know, let me go ahead and actually vlog my day. Kind of just like take you guys along with me. This vlog is also a little bit different because I have been getting a ton of requests to share my family's or our family's reactions to the pregnancy news, which I have not shared yet. So we told like my immediate family all at once. We told my extended family all at once. And then for Dion's family, he just sent everybody a text message uh, with, the, with our pregnancy announcement picture and just said surprise. He has a humongous family. <laughs> So he was like, I am not to sit here and call every individual person. So he literally just texts everybody, his dad, his grandma, his mom, everybody, aunts, cousins, whatever. And was in his text in the picture and was like, surprise. <laughs> and then of course they all like text him was like, what, da, 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 you know. Um, you know, like they were all, of course, surprised and everything. So anyways, it, it there's not a whole, whole, whole lot of footage. So yeah, the footage is kind of disjointed and it honestly wouldn't make a whole, whole lot of sense if I didn't really include it in an actual vlog and kind of explain what's happening, if that makes sense. I'll definitely go ahead and include that footage later on in this video whenever I have time to actually talk through how we kind of did everything. I would share it now, but I literally have 15 minutes to get my self all the way together have a brand pitch at 11 which is in like 30 minutes so they have like a campaign they're doing and so they reached out to me and um i am one of four influencers that's pitching and mind you they narrowed it down to four from like a pool of a ton so just even getting to this place where i get to actually pitch them is a really big deal fingers crossed that everything goes well i'm actually trying out the new okay i actually had no idea this was new so i went into sephora on monday on the very last day of the vib sale i mostly honestly re-upped on all of my oldies i did buy a few like two or three new products but mostly just my staples and so i was walking around and i picked up the huda beauty one and then i also picked up the lancome stick foundation as well i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup real quick it is not going to be perfect or anything of the sort because I am definitely rushing through it. But again, as long as it looks good on camera, that's really all that matters. All right, y'all, we made it. <laughs> I'm just sitting here to join the Google Meets meeting, but I'm excited. I'm like a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. But I actually also feel really comfortable and confident talking about the concepts that we came up with. They're very organic and authentic, so I'm excited. Essentially, the whole idea here is to stand out <laughs> the most amongst all the other candidates, um, I have no idea who else they're considering or who else um, is pitching to them. I just know what we came up with and kind of like what we kind of worked on. So we'll see if it, you know, leads to, you know, the full on campaign. But this is definitely one of those pieces of being content creator that most people don't really see and they don't fully understand. A lot of people just feel like being a influencer or YouTuber or content creator is just posting pretty pictures, posting YouTube videos. They, they see the end result, but they don't see that there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, whether it's negotiating, reviewing contracts, doing pitches like these i mean just even cold pitching you know the email phone calls whatever it is like there's just a lot that goes on behind the scenes so it's definitely not an easy job i love what i do and you guys know i do not do this full time um so i still have a full-time job so balancing you know this in my full-time job and now i'm pregnant and being a whole wife and all that can definitely be a lot but i genuinely genuinely enjoy it and i feel like in order to be like a successful influencer content creator you have to like really be enthusiastic about about what you're doing, not just about enthusiastic about getting paid, because I'm be honest, I hear a lot more no's than I do yeses. I think that's pretty much for most content creators. I hear way more no's than I do yeses. Gotta start. Pause. Pause right there. Gotta start. All right, y'all. So before I go and grab some 
food. I wanted to come in here real quick into my, like my office and show you guys what I picked up from Sephora. Honestly, I did not pick up that many things, which is so unlike me. But like I said, I used to buy makeup all the time. And like now I'm just like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So like if I have something I love, like a favorite concealer, which I have a favorite concealer, if I have like a favorite foundation, if I have favorite setting powder, whatever it is, I just stick with it. I already showed you guys the Huda Beauty foundation stick that's what i use today so far so good i got this in the shade 430 in gingerbread not an exact match with stick foundations it's actually really hard to find an exact match because stick foundation ranges are, are there's not a whole lot of options i also picked up the lancome stick foundation in the shade 450 suede i noticed though that the stick foundations and the lancome shades do not match the shades in the liquid. I am a true 460 suede. It is like a spot on match to my complexion. And of course I naturally went for the 460 suede in the stick foundation and it was dark. <laughs> it was darker than um, the 460 suede liquid foundation. So I don't know why they did that, like why they made the stick foundation shades not align with the liquid foundation stage. Um, stage. The liquid foundation put the liquid foundation shades i'm not quite sure why they're off so the closest one to me was 450 suede so like here's my hand and can y'all tell like i don't know if it's coming off on camera it's a very neutral almost cool undertone so this is also not a spot on match but it's much closer to my actual skin complexion than the actual 460 in the stick okay so next up i re-upped on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Chocolate. Here's what I use today. I love this bad boy. I also re-upped on my Micro Smooth Powder. Here's my current one that's all messy and all used up. So I went ahead and re-upped on a brand new one for whenever I run out of that. I actually purchased the Fenty Beauty Portable Touch Up Brush and the Fenty Beauty Invisimat blotting powder. You guys know I am oily. Obviously I have um, oily skin. So normally if I get oily, I'll just take a tissue and just blot my face and move on. I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and buy an actual oil control powder to just set my makeup in place without having to disrupt makeup. I also re-upped on the Sephora Best Can Ever. I actually do not think that I have actually done a tutorial or video with this foundation. I purchased it back in February and y'all, this foundation is thebomb.com. It's again, it's the Sephora Best Can Ever. I'm in the shade 35N. And this is also a really good um, option if you want like a really natural, lightweight, like skin finish. This is really, really good. And it's actually really affordable. I think it's like 20 bucks for the foundation. Also re-upped on my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Y'all know how much I love this stuff. I'm at the end of the ropes with this one, my old one. You guys see how much I have left in here? So I had to re-up on a brand new one. Very last thing I purchased is, okay. So Charlotte Tilbury came out with brow pencils. They were kind enough to send me two of them via PR. I tried them and y'all know that I don't really, well, aside from my Anastasia one, you know, I'm a huge sucker for drugstore brow pencils. This Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil is the most precise brow pencil I have ever ever used in my entire life like it it's almost so precise that it's like unforgiving like you have to really know how to do your brows to like be a pro with using this only thing is though is that they sent me the shade natural black which you guys know i did not do my brows that dark ever i love that they have refills so you can just buy like the refill for $15 so i bought the refill in the shade dark brown i'm gonna try that out and see how that is and if it's too dark I'm gonna go up one shade. You can actually just twist this part off, take it out, and then just insert in the refill. How genius is that? So that is, yeah, that is everything from my little haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually take this all off because I'm exhausted just from talking and run to get some food. Then when I come back from getting my lunch, I'll hop into how we told our family. So I'm sure you guys are kind of like, okay, how are we gonna get to that part? <laughs> All right, y'all just picked up my smoothie. So I did stop at Smoothie King. That is not my full lunch though, cause I'm like starving and I'm about to actually go get something that's not even healthy. <laughs> I'm about to go from Smoothie King to like somewhere else that um, 
I probably should not, not probably that I know I shouldn't be eating, but I'm going to eat it anyways. <laughs> I um, do the three whole wings combo. The number four, spicy or mild? Spicy. What's your side of your drink? Side is red beans and rice. And then for the drink, can I do like half lemonade, half Sprite? Y'all, how'd I end up at uh, Popeye's? <laughs> I am so terrible, but I'm so hungry. So I made it back home. I actually had to rush in the house from getting lunch. My last task of the day is I had to actually hop on another call with my manager and talk through concepts that we had to submit for a separate campaign. This one's different because you aren't actually pitching for this one. Like we've already have been approved and everything for the con for the campaign. We had to just actually submit the content concepts ahead of time to the brand for approval. I mean, we knocked that out, thank God, and then and that's pretty much it. But now for the pregnancy announcement reveal. Like I said, I want to kind of include it in a vlog because the footage is like kind of disjointed and we, it's just kind of, it's, it would be really weird to put it like in its own separate video. So here's that footage. Got an early Easter yeah. basket. That's Who you tell me you was gonna see? You about to see the hook. Easter bunny. The Easter bunny. Tell me he gonna say, hi, Valerie. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we have there? An egg. An egg, and you know what's in it? A lot of candy. Who's on the front? Uh huh. Okay, what else is in there? Oh, who's that? Sky bubbles. Ooh, sky bubbles. Ooh. What are those? Some bunny ears. Ooh, Valerie's little Easter bunny. Ooh, what's that, Valerie? Well, unicorn. unicorn. Oh, that's cute. That is, is cute. What else is in here? Something else in here. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh. You got your shirt. What, what, does mm -hmm. what does this say? What does this say, Valerie? What does this say? Look. Huh? What does this say? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God. I knew it. Wait, wait, wait. I knew it. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I figured. Yeah, so I figured. Oh my gosh! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, okay. That's good. I knew it. Are you serious? Oh my gosh! Really? Oh my gosh! I'm glad. Happy. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Look at your phone. Tap the screen, and then you should go to Tap your the screen. Uh huh. Then go to your text messages. You Facetime me. <laughs> All right. I'll just tell you, Kai and I is pregnant. <laughs> We're pregnant. You hear me? <laughs> Here she go. Hey, Miss Gaines. Hey. What? Come on, no clothes. Say it again. <laughs> So you can get a switch. <laughs> so you can get a switch. <laughs> We're having a baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, congratulations. Thanks, Mrs. Gaines. Guess what? I was pregnant. Yep. How did you even guess? I felt the vibe. <laughs> what kind of vibe did you feel? Just, well, I was listening. You was into what? I was gonna say something, but I was like, mm -mm -mm. and I kind of got the vibe from that. Oh, you got the vibe that that's what I'm about to tell you. Yeah. But before that, did you know I was pregnant? No. Okay. So see, you did a good job. How do you feel? Get out of my business. I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> so you trying to look at my chest? I'm happy. 
I'm that's not, your happy face? Because that is not, that's not no, happy at all. Happy. That is so I fake. Am I am happy. Why are you happy? Because I get another sibling. Yay. Oh, wait, okay. So are you excited to have two baby siblings? One at one house, one at the other house. So when you go back and forth between the houses, you're going to have a baby wherever you go? You thought about that yet? <laughs> mm, I don't think it's going to set in just yet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how I feel. All right, big okay. sis. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. First of all, we want to thank you all for coming out to celebrate uh, this fine Easter weekend with our family. Anyways, I know it's been a while since we all kind of gotten together. I said just say, we love you guys. Um, and we're pregnant. Baby. <laughs> Later on in the evening, after I wrapped up the last clip, I lay down. And I was supposed to lay down for like 30 minutes and I ended up turning into like an hour plus nap. Went and grabbed some Domino's. I was like craving something very specific. I don't know. Today I've had like very specific cravings. I just went and grabbed a pepperoni pizza that I honestly will not finish, but um, I guess is what I distinctly wanted. And then I haven't had these in so long, but oh, they sound so good. Um, Breland and Dion wanted seafood and I did not. So they went to grab that. I'm sitting here. I'm about to try to wrap up some homework before I get back. That is pretty much my Friday. Not a whole lot going on. Like I said, it wasn't really anything crazy. I was supposed to go shopping, but me and Bruno are gonna go tomorrow instead just to give us something to do out the house. We don't really do a whole, whole lot on Fridays. It's more so like Saturdays when we're more active. Um, and so that's just pretty much what we do. Okay, so everyone has like literally been dying to know about how you feel about the baby. <laughs> I'm, I would say I'm happy. You see, you see how enthusiastic that was. That was so enthusiastic. I was so happy. You didn't even, you didn't even sound happy when you said that. Cause I won't sound <laughs> very, very happy till I actually see the baby. Then I'll actually be happy. Okay. I, so me and your dad was saying that we think that you're more happy, that you're more happy to have someone that takes attention off of you. Yes, that's what it is. That is, true. that is one of the reasons. I'm sure that's, that's what it is. That's not surprising. That's about as much as we'll get out of her. Is her saying that she's happy? What do you What do you think it is? Or what do you want? A boy. Why? Because I was with a brother. Well, I guess you already have a sister, so I uh, yeah. Sure. Will you be disappointed if it's a girl? <sighs> Choose your words wisely. Um, if it's another one of me. <laughs> Just because I love myself, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. If it's like a mini me, oh my gosh, I'd be happy. But if it's total opposite, I don't know. We can shift Breland it has into her own little style, y'all. You said what? We can like shift it into me. Okay, <laughs> so basically, Breland wants a little mini her. Yes. <laughs>